In this flop to fabulous video, I'll show you how to remove distractions, how to brighten the subject, how to clean up anything that you want in the picture, and to get an end result, I'll show you how to get the lens blur effect at the very end for a great shot. Let's go. Okay, first of all, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna show you how to remove distractions in a picture before we brighten up the subject. First thing we'll do is we'll create a new layer and we'll just call it remove. Now we'll go over here to our remove tool, which is just getting better and better all the time. We have the remove tool. Now make sure that up top it says remove after each stroke is unchecked because we want to do multiples all at the same time. So let's zoom in here. We don't want this person. So let's draw over top of them. We'll go over to the side. Let's get rid of this cone. We don't want that there. And lastly, scroll down a bit here. Let's get rid of her purse straps. It's just deterring. So just draw over them. And now zoom out and hit enter. And they're all gone. Now, if something doesn't quite look right, go over it again. Enter. And if you see something else you don't like, do the same thing. I don't like these dots here, so let's color them in. Enter. Gone. The remove tool is just getting better. Now, if you see right out here, there's somebody in the ocean. Remove. Bang. Gone. All right. So let's take the remove and the first layer, group them, and call it remove. Let's make a stamp visible layer. Now I'll show you how to brighten up your subject so the picture isn't a total loss. Let's make it a smart object and we'll go into camera raw. Now the first thing I want to do is I want to brighten her up. So what we'll do, we'll go over to the masks here and we'll go to select subject. Now let's show the overlay and it's doing things that we don't want it to do. So what we'll do is we'll grab a brush and we'll remove them. So we don't want this part here to be part of it. Now, if you want to add, you can hold your Alt key down, add a few things in here. But let's just remove what we don't want. All right, let's turn the overlay off. Now, what we're going to do, instead of going to light or color, we're going to go down to our old friend curve. As you can see, everything's in a shadow. So let's put a dot in the curves in the shadow and slightly bring it up until there she is. Now let's do it to taste. See how we like it. I mean, that could be too much, but we'll bring it, dial it back and we'll bring it up just enough that we'd like to see it. What we can do, if you wish, because it was a sunny day, Let's go back to the curves, go to the blue channel, and we'll introduce a bit of yellow. It was a sunny day that day. So let's introduce a bit of yellow into the highlights to give it just a little bit more. That's great. Before, after, it's starting to look good. Now what we'll do is we'll go create new mask and we'll select people again, except this time we're gonna select everything separate masks we may not use them all but it's always good to have your options so let's hit create because the thing i want to do is i want to zoom in and i want to take her facial skin scroll down click it and i want to go down to the shadows here under light and just bring it up ever so slightly bring the highlights down a bit and you can see her face a little bit better. If it's too much, back it off. But you don't want to go too far. So just do it to taste. Zoom out, check it out. Before, after. So what we'll do now, while we have it on her face, go to color and we'll go to saturation and just bring it up a bit. Now, if you don't like the way that looks, you can always make corrections. Now, what I'd like to do also Let's go to her clothes, bring down the highlights a bit, but let's bring up the shadows and bring up her clothes just a bit. Again, go to color, 
and saturation. And let's just throw a bit of color in there for her. One thing I noticed when we were doing the subject, the mask, as you can see, is too much. So let's fix this mask by going subtract, brush, and let's just remove what we want. So it's not highlighting something you don't want. Hold the Alt key down and fix and or grab what you want here. Make sure the auto mask is selected. So we we'll remove anything that we don't want. We don't want anything glowing or anything like that. Cool, zoomed out. Now, let's check it out before, after. That's very cool, but she's still not quite the center of attention. So what we'll do is we'll go back to our tools and I wanna go to lens blur and hit apply. And now we've got that professional lens blur that everybody kind of likes in their pictures, but sometimes it could be a bit much. So 50 might be a bit much on this one. So let's go down to 35. Wow, that's cool. Before, after we've taken a picture that you might've thrown out to something that's just fabulous. I love this stuff. With a few changes here and a few changes there, you can take any picture that you thought might not be a very good picture and turn it into a great picture you can be proud of. If this video helped at all, please like and subscribe. I'm Don from 409 See ya.